بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم আসসালামু আলাইকুম ডিয়ার ভিউয়ার্স ওয়েলকাম টু ইউ দা আপনারা সবাইকে স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি ইন আ শো টুডে উই হ্যাভ অ্যামেজিং ট্যালেন্টেড পিপল ইউ নো হার ফ্রম মি স্পেশালি সো অন মাই রাইট উই হ্যাভ শুভমি শুভমি উই শুড লাইক টু ইন্ট্রোডিউস ইউ সেলফ শিমু সরি ওকে ইন্ট্রোডিউস ইউ সেলফ আসসালামু আলাইকুম মাই নেম ইজ শাহিনা পারভিন শিমু আম আই এম অ্যান আর্টিস্ট এন্ড আই লাভ টু সে দা সে ওকে ইজ ইট লাইফ ইজ লাইফ ও Sorry about yeah, nice um, I, I'm an artist and I'm working uh, with calligraphies and landscapes. Hi, Hi. Hello everyone, I'm Sue Chadwick and I'm a solicitor but I have something to say about culture I hope tonight. Fantastic. On my left far end. Uh, my name is Khairul Hassan. First of all I would like to say thank you for having us in here today and uh, viewers around the world who's watching this uh, program right now. Assalamu alaikum uh, to all of you. And uh, my name is Khairul Hassan. Uh, professionally, I'm a banker, but I've, got, I've, I've recently um, um, engaged into creative design and TV presenting, like yourself. So, that's sure. I'm. thank you for making time for us. Get last. Thank you, Sagar uh, Dunbai. Actually, my name is Mahfuz Nahid. Uh, I'm working as a community worker in uh, Tower Hamlet, Surya. So, I'm going to ask you a creative review. So, I'm going to ask you a salam alaikum. সময় তো ভাই বোনেরা আপনারা ফোন করতে পারেন আমাদের সাথে কথা বলতে পারেন এন্ড উই আর টকিং অ্যাবাউট আর্ট এন্ড কালচার সো উই টকিং অ্যাবাউট আর্ট এন্ড কালচার সো প্লিজ ডু কল ইন এন্ড ইউ নো শেয়ার ইয়োর ভিউস আদা হাসান ওয়েলকাম টু ইউ স্যার শিওর ওয়াজ লাস্ট টাইম উইথ দ্য সিস্টার প্লিজ ওকে আই উড মোর দ্যান হ্যাপি শুমি শিমু শিমু আই কিপ সরি আই এম গোইং টু মেক দিস নো দ্যাটস ওকে ওকে টেল আস अबाउट আর্ট হোয়াট ডাজ ইট মিন আর্ট টু ইউ Art is, uh, I, I believe strongly that this is an expression of someone's imagination. Uh, like I'm visiting a place and I like the view and the natural beauty of the place. And this is, I'm carrying the imagination of that place and I want to put it on the canvas. Uh, or I want to draw it with the pen and paper. So I think that it's all about portraying or expressing the imagination of human mind yeah. why is it so important for you to move in the lines is difficult line isn't it so why is it so important for you um i think because art carrying the time you know when you are mm, drawing something when you are painting something basically you are uh, painting and painting the time you know whatever you are painting mm -hmm. like a sunset you are painting and you are carrying that on your canvas and this is the time wow. so art is all about carry, carrying the time and uh, that is why it's very important and we know that you know if you go to the museums people go to the museums and they want to see what people used to paint what their mm -hmm. imagination was so it is they are trying to know the time you know what mm -hmm. was the time mm -hmm. that's why i think that um, it's very important uh, to a uh, caricature and whatever it is the source of art it might be landscaping abstract or calligraphies or whatever it is but this is definitely a form of carrying the type space and imagination it's a mingling of all together Fantastic. i believe yeah um hasan bhai i know you also you know really into uh, calligraphy and all that stuff amazing something you want and uh, show us as well some of your work will be shown in the tv do you think we lost importance in, in in art especially muslim what i'm talking about um in well, people might think art is just like something drawing a life or face stuff it's not that it's not the case it's about designing it and it's, it's not um is if, if you were to um ask me what i would say what um in a different way say why do you do um, calligraphy okay. or, or art i would say i'll sharing this with uh sisa shimwa that that it's uh, i find um myself art is is a kind of language where with what i speak to myself as uh, sister shin was saying it's that is like you capturing a certain time and not only this your mood at that time so when i'm drawing something i'm actually i'm actually capturing my thoughts at that moment of that moment um how i see uh, things what my mood is what i see in that so uh, i i would say 
uh, what you were saying, this, uh, we may, may have lost interest into it, uh, Muslim Because some of, your work will be shown in the, some of the work will be shown in the TV now. Yes, so when we're talking. So that'll Inshallah. Be great if, if to I'll talk through them, <laughs> Inshallah, if it's come on screen. Yeah. See this one piece of work you're seeing. Um, I said, in Bengali, it says, Alhamdulillah, meaning all praise to um, God who, who created us. Um, <coughs> there, at that time, maybe I was thinking, I, I was so pleased to my God. And all I wanted to do, I recorded it. I wanted to record it in the wall I did with my um, pen, pencil and brush. I just, just recorded that word in my own language and in a, in a beautiful way. The way I will say, the reason I say in a beautiful way is because I believe, personally believe, and I'm sure all of we agree that when we look into our, our surroundings in the world, everything we see, we don't find any fault in, in God's creation. It's so beautifully done, it's so precise, it's so accurate. And that was, uh, that is what insp inspires me to... There's to another one. Ne next yeah. one, it says, the in Arabic word, it says sabr. Uh, I like to talk about this one, is mean passion. And underneath this, it says sabr in Bengali. But the first letter you can see is an S. And that's a calligraphic form of uh, English S as well. So I actually combined three languages in there. Mm. Um, wow, beautiful. Th that's what I tried to do yeah. in there, is, is, is the shadow of Arabic sabr is sabr. Is, that's what it is. So Fantastic. at that time, probably I was. I, um, I really don't know which when I was doing it. Probably I was going through something, and I wanted to be be passionate, and that's what I did. I just wrote that word. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm, can I? Ask? Um, is that yours as well? That's that's. Oh, a, wow. uh, this is another one. I personally like this one. It's. I think it's the Quranic verses um, from chapter. Chapter. I, I forgot. I think it's in there. It's a verse from uh, Surah Rahman, um, ayat number sixty, I believe. It says. Um, the reward for good is nothing but good. That's what our Creator is saying. If you do something good, I in return you're going to get good. This is exactly what it says in there. Uttam er binimoy uttam chara ki hote pare. Bangla, uh, for viewers I would say. Itai bola hai kane. So when I was reading Quran probably or at that time was I was thinking about that what is the reward for a good act. That's exactly what Quran is saying to me. It's nothing but good. And this is something I wanted to record it. Fantastic. I think, as you were saying, you know, art is, and Sister Shimu was saying, I would repeat that, uh, it's not something um, you just do it randomly. There is a story behind it. There, there, it with one piece of art, you actually, you're actually recording a story. It's a book, it's a poem, it's a whole, uh, whole uh, world in there. You know, it's fantastic. Even myself, look, when, you look, when I looked at it, you know, it's just like, it's almost like it printed in your heart. Exactly. Because you just that's what exactly. you're doing actually, isn't it? It's it's amazing. Not right? only that, I would just like to add what Sister Shimo was saying. I would repeat that. It's actually you are making a footmark of your mood and thoughts and your you know uh, your imagination, and this is recorded in a way, you know, in a beautiful way. Fantastic. Can I come to Nahid Bay? Nahid Bay, why do you think at the moment is quite negative in the sense of people not being encouraged to do, especially like young generation? So we're talking to our young generation, especially now, especially. We want to encourage them to do stuff like that, designing. Look at the beautiful mosque around the Iran and the Turkey. It's, 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 mm -hmm. it's part of art. Also, we have a golden age of you know, being one of the leaders in, in the art world. So why is it we lacking in that field? What do you think? Thank you, Sagbay. Actually, I feel very proud today because I have two uh, artists in our generation <laughs> today in the <laughs> States. Uh, actually, I'm not an artist. I'm just a community worker. Uh, I try to give the answer according to the community perspective, inshallah. So, I mean, the Bangladesh world is such that Islamic Jeshomoy, Oishomoy, Tachilo, Jeshobota Tachilo. এবং ওই সময় যে বাইজেন্টাইন এবং পারসি সভ্যতা যেটা আপনি বলছিলেন ওই সময়ের সভ্যতা থেকে শুরু করে যখন ইসলামী সভ্যতা আসলো তখন কিন্তু ওই একটা বিরাট একটা চেঞ্জ আসছিল আর ওই চেঞ্জের জন্য ও তৎকালীন সময়কার যুবকরাই প্রধান ভূমিকা পালন করেছিল কিন্তু আজকে যদি দেখা যায় আমাদের সময়ে যে আজকের যে যুবকরা ওরাই আর্ট এবং ডিজাইন এবং আদার কালচারিক অ্যাক্টিভিটির মধ্যে তারা কিন্তু আগের মতো আকৃষ্ট না তারা এখন বেশিরভাগ সময় তাদের ফেসবুকে 
ইন্টারনেটে এই সব কাজে তাদের বেশি ভাগ সময়গুলো কিন্তু তারা ইউজ করতেছে যা তরুণ দেখা যাচ্ছে যে ওই সেক্টরটাতে এখন আমাদের আর ছেলেরা আসতেছে না এজন্য আমাদের যে জিনিসটা করতে হবে যেমন আজকে যে জেনারেশনের আমার ভাই বোনেরা যে কাজগুলো করতেছেন এই কাজগুলোকে আমাদেরকে বেশি বেশি করে তুলে ধরতে হবে নিউ জেনারেশনের কাছে এবং তুলে ধরতে হবে এ কারণে যে সংস্কৃতির একটা পার্টই হচ্ছে আর্ট হ্যাঁ আমরা চলে যাব অনেকগুলো সভ্যতা চলে গেছে পস্তর সভ্যতা কৃষি সভ্যতা লৌহ সভ্যতা কিন্তু এখনও কিন্তু এই সভ্যতার কিন্তু চিহ্নগুলা কিন্তু বহন করতেছে কি ওই সময়কার আর্টগুলো হ্যাঁ আমরা যদি ইজিপশিয়ান সভ্যতার দিকে দেখাই যে ওইগুলো ওয়ালের মধ্যে যে মানুষের ছবিগুলো ছিল এই ছবিগুলো কিন্তু আজকেও কিন্তু কথা বলতেছে হ্যাঁ এই জন্য আমাদেরকে আমাদের নিউ জেনারেশনকে আমাদের যুবক সমাজকে তুলে ধরতে হবে যে এই জিনিসটা আমরা যা করে যাব আজ থেকে কয়েক হাজার পরেও দুনিয়া যতদিন থাকবে পৃথিবী যতদিন থাকবে এ কাজগুলো থাকবে এবং মানুষ জানবে যে এই কাজটা ওই জেনারেশনের ওই লুকগুলো করে গেছিল তো এতে আমাদের যে কাজটা করতে হবে যে আমাদের নিউ জেনারেশনকে মোটিভেট করতে হবে এ ব্যাপারে এবং তাদের সামনে তাদের পার্সপেকটিভ কী আছে এটা আমাদেরকে তুলে ধরতে হবে কারণ অনেক সময় আর্ট এবং ডিজাইনের কথা বললে আমাদের জেনারেশনটা মনে করে যে ওটা একটা শৌখিন কাজ হ্যাঁ ওইটা কাজ করতেছে ওখান থেকে আমার ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল কোনো রিটার্ন আসবে না আজকালকার জেনারেশনটা যারা বোঝে ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল রিটার্ন না আসলে অনেক সময় কিন্তু মানুষ কোনো কাজ করতে উৎসাহিত হয় না যারা আসেন এই সেক্টরে আমি তাদেরকে বলবো আপনারা কাজগুলো তুলে ধরেন এবং বিভিন্ন যে অপরচুনিটিগুলো আছে তাদের কাছে তুলে ধরেন তাহলে তারা অবশ্যই মোটিভেটেড হবে এদিকে এটা আবার সবসময় কিন্তু সত্যি নয় যে কিছুই আসবে না কারণ হলো বিশেষ করে একটু আগে আমরা যে কথাটা বলছিলাম শুধুমাত্র টাকা উপার্জনের জন্য বা ইনকামের জন্য এটা করবেন না মনের শান্তির জন্য এটা করবেন এবং ইফ ইউ ডু ইউর বেস্ট ইফ ইউ ইফ ইউ জাস্ট স্পিক ইউর মাইন্ড আউট ইন ওয়ান ডে ইউ উইল বি রেকগনাইজ অ্যান্ড বিলিভ মি আর্ট এমন একটা জিনিস এখনকার দিনে হয়ে আসছে ছোট্ট একটা বিষয় ইজ এ সিঙ্গল পিস অফ আর্ট খুড খুড ওয়ার্থ মিলিয়ন পাউন্ডস ইটস হিউজ ওয়ার্ল্ড অ্যান্ড দিস হিউজ পোটেন্সিয়াল ইন দ্য সো আউট এনকারেজ অল আওয়ার ইয়াংস্টার্স টু কাম ফরওয়ার্ড অ্যান্ড স্পিক ইউর মাইন্ড আউট দিস ওল আউসে আমাদের একজন মানুষ হিসাবে আমাদের দুটা জিনিসের প্রয়োজন জীবনে একটা জিনিস হলো আমাদের বস্তুগত বস্তুগত চাহিদা মেটালিস্টিক ডিমান্ড এবং আরেকটা যেটা হলো যেটা হলো আমাদের আত্মাতিক চাহিদা হ্যাঁ আমরা যে ইকোনমিক যে আপনার ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল অথবা পলিটিক্যাল যে ব্যাপারগুলো করি ওগুলো কিন্তু আমাদের ওই বস্তুগত দিকটাকে আপনার ওই পূরণ করে ফেলে বাট একজন মানুষ হিসাবে বেঁচে থাকার জন্য পরিপূর্ণতার জন্য আমাদের যেটা দরকার সেটা হলো আমাদের আধ্যাত্মিক দিকের উন্নতি করা আর এই আধ্যাত্মিক দিকের উন্নতিটা আমরা করতে পারি কিন্তু এই আর্টের মাধ্যমে আর্ট এবং ডিজাইনের মাধ্যমে হ্যাঁ এবং আর্ট এবং ডিজাইনের মাধ্যমে অনেক কিছু আমাদের আত্মাধিক ইম্প্রুভ হয় যেমন একজন আর্টিস্ট যখন বসে একটা জিনিস নিয়ে তখন সে কিন্তু একটা 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 ছবি আঁকার আগে বা একটা ক্যালিওগ্রাফিক আঁকার আগে ওইটার বিভিন্ন দৃষ্টিকোণ থেকে চিন্তা করেন ঠিক না ওটার একটা বিরাট একটা সাইকোলজিক্যাল এফেক্ট আছে এবং বিশেষ করে ওই আর্টিস্ট যখন উনি কোনো কিছু আপনার আর্ট করেন বা বাস্তবে সেটাকে একটা ধারণ করেন তখন দেখা যাবে ওনার যে কালচারাল এফেক্ট সেটাও কাজ করে where he comes from uni kot theke aschen uni kon desh theke aschen uni kon emon ki kon dhormiyo bishwashe what type of a religion he believes ei jinish gula kintu oi art e ba design er modhe chole ashe amader hasan bhai je koto gula apni oi je sundor sundor nice calligraphy dilen okhane kintu hasan bhai byakti hasan bhai er kintu ekta jinish prosphotito hoye ashe ha je unar je ruchi unar je chinta manoshikota ba oi ei jinish gula kintu chole ashe eta that's a individual thing is isn't it prottekta manush ekjon ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল এবং এই ক্যালিওগ্রাফির মাধ্যমে একটা ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল জিনিস আমাদের ব্যক্তিগত জিনিসটা তুলে ধরতে আমরা সক্ষম হই You know, yeah. we, you guys are leaders, there's no doubt in it. We dominate. Mm. What yeah, <laughs> dominate, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good word. Okay. What we see to be in London is Western. Yes, and, yeah. but, and, and Greek before that, mm. the, the, the Greek civilization that we come from is very apparent. It's, it is very Western dominant. Mm. Whether we lead the world, I don't okay. know. It's just <laughs> that it, it, it surrounds us. 
why do you think they ha they're leading? What are the force behind of being in the position they are now? Well, you could start with Plato and trace it from there. And he mm -hmm. didn't like the poets very much. He didn't want them in the city because he, you know, you're talking about you know, people not liking art or trying to resist it. He said that the poets would distract everyone from the serious work that needed <laughs> doing in the city. And therefore, they should get rid of them from the very first city that was ever um, thought about, the very first model of a city. Um, so the art has always had a, an uncomfortable relationship with the people who are serious and want to get things done. They always see it as a disruptive force, and it still is. You know, yeah. Yeah. I was listening to something on the internet saying that you know children are being corrupted by the internet, and it's a, mm -hmm. it's tantamount to abuse to let them watch games or whatever. Um, and you know, there's there's always that gap between old and young, and the art of the youth is often yeah. not liked by the they art of the youth. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then the Western world says this is art and that isn't. And, and this is started with with the Renaissance, isn't mm. it? The Renaissance period at the time, basically, the artists they revolted against the political and mm. religious mm. authorities with the art. Uh, basically, very precisely, if I say the nudity started there, mm. the art uh, in uh, nudity in art started from there. They they were painting um, uh, nude bodies of human beings to revolt against the religious, you know, uh, authorities. So mm, I think that from that time, uh, the Western world is leading in the art industry. Uh, that the inception of, you know. Uh, the Western mm. artistic uh, revolution. So this is still going on mm -hmm. and it's uh, changing and changing the form and the interest and the perception, everything is changing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, nowadays they say that uh, several kind of arts, they are doing sarials. Sarials is a very different kind of art. They are basically, they represent one thing with a very different kind of uh, a structure you know like um, I was painting one thing I, if I could show it uh, but it, I think I didn't yes, uh, give can. it to them I didn't give it to them though okay, we're gonna uh, like I painted a tree a big tree I painted okay, maybe and if you on, can the show it on the, on the yeah. trunk of the tree I painted a figure uh, a hijabi yes, woman. This one. No, I don't think no. so. This okay. one, I no. didn't give them though. This okay, is okay. Uh, this is a very natural uh, landscape of the um, you know sea and the mountains, but the sarial painting I'm talking about, it's kind of like uh, uh, like the painting I'm talking about. I painted a uh, uh, a hijabi uh, woman. Uh, she is sitting in the trunk of the tree, and I I wanted to portray that uh, our mothers are kind of the tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the branches are coming out of the tree and uh, mm, some in the branches I, I painted some lights. So children are the lights of uh, that's coming from mm -hmm. the mother. So this is a surreal painting, okay. And uh, there are other forms that um, expressionist. Expressionist, this is one kind of uh, you know art form they use very vivid and bright colors to represent something and there there are so many forms of uh, sure, arts uh, now uh, yeah if you can this, make a comment this on painting, that, be um, this painting i can talk about uh, i was talking to sue as well mm. about this painting that i wanted to portray you know the middle of the circle there is the um, arabic allahu allahu the uh, um, I wanted to show that Allah or the creator or the God is the center of everything, center of our heart, center of this universe and center of all, everything around us. So uh, like everything we feel uh, because God wants us to feel, because God created the heart and heart is the center of the body. So I wanted to portray as God the center of us, everything. This is a painting uh, with that. And okay, what do you about this um, one? Then? This, this painting is, is uh, uh, I basically I'm very much passionate about the Palestinian movement, uh, free Palestine movement, and I'm a regular activity, activist online. I write poems. I uh, I participate in the discussions on the news, which are online newspapers. 
and that's why I wanted to paint. Uh, this is the this is the painting one and only about Palestine. Uh, you know the tanks coming and only one Palestine ma pa Palestinian man. Uh, he is trying to resist with a stone. So and this is the map of the Palestine and uh, you know behind the little um, uh, black uh, lines. These are basically you know the broken city of mm -hmm. Gaza. The Gaza is basically completely broken. This is destroyed and still people are trying to resist with a with a you know corner of stone that they're, they're resisting themselves so this uh, this painting is uh, my one of my very best friend uh, she's from uh, portugal and she bought it oh, and um, it, it was a very great pleasure for me uh, alhamdulillah and Next um, one, oh, this, one, this one this one i uh, took a um, uh, you know, wallpaper. Is there a true side? It. Like you can see mountain behind, then you see yeah. water behind, or is it something you clear in your head? Yeah, the mountain, and uh, this is kind of a very, um, what can I say, uh, countryside, definitely okay. countryside. And uh, you see the stones uh, in the sea water. I wanted to paint it, but I think that I couldn't do it properly. Yes, you want to. <laughs> This is one thing. Yeah, I sure, I'm I'm yeah. We're talking about just a normal uh, painting. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, but art is quite broad, isn't it? Yeah, so, we're yeah, talking definitely. about design of the mosque, mm -hmm. design of the building, yeah. design of the future things. Yeah. Right. You know, a lot of things. So, if you go, oh, do you have anything on that level? Do you have? Oh, uh, all right. Uh, otherwise, what know, will happen is, yeah, uh, the, the the people will um, think like, oh, it's only f just painting. And they no. think this is not the life we mm -hmm. want. No, but it's not about not painting. So it's no, just no, something. Yeah, yeah. Um, Aaron Jules, Jules, as was, uh, was saying earlier on, every everything we see around us are so artistically done mm. by our creator. Um, and as uh, you know, as you just said, it's not just about painting or calligraphy or things like this. Even we, if we look into the big uh, architectural mm. um, structures and all that, there's always the art behind it. There's a mathematical uh, accuracy in there. Uh, mm. There's yeah. a ge geometrical accuracy in there. Um, yeah. So these, are, uh, to me, this is art. Mm. You know, this yeah. is something not random. Yeah. Uh, that, that's uh, if we just say yes, art is a piece of just landscape or, or uh, maybe no. an not at uh, all. calligraphy. Yeah. It's not only that. Sometimes, I mean, even uh, if we look into our yeah. own body, it's so artistically done. Mm. Well, know, Anthony Gormley, exactly. he's my favourite sculptor, and he just takes his own body and places it everywhere and exactly. it's just yeah. the most beautiful thing okay. and he's sometimes we see some monuments in different uh, places even in london you will see that that uh, some monuments are so attractive you will will be stuck on this oh my god who did it mm -hmm. and whoever did it definitely he or she got a very artistic mind mm -hmm. otherwise someone cannot exactly. do it you know the uh, the architect um, um, I forgot the name she so died we'll come to you after the break. we're gonna go for a small yeah. break yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, is that sure. okay I come back to you yeah. uh, dear viewers we're just gonna go for a small break stay with us and make sure you call us in the second half inshallah Asalaamu As Alaikum Warahmatullahi oh.